Hello and welcome to the third part of the 18 tutorial about the Simple Snake game. As I promised, now we are going to implement the tail to the snake. We currently have this implemented, so we can move, eat the fruit, the fruit changes the location, we eat more fruits, the score increases, and if we hit the wall, the game ends. Um, so let's add the tail. Um, the tail is um, maybe a little bit complicated to understand at first because um, the tail is, tail is consisted of a few segments. For example, if um, this is our head and we have these segments. So we have four tail segments. And when we move the snake, for example, if the O moves down, if the O moves down, the head moves down, uh, the tail should follow. So in the first step, it will, look, it will look like this. In the second step, the snake will look like this while moving down. So basically, um, this segment of the tail we're go we're, is going to have the previous coordinates of the head and all previous ta uh, previous um, segments will have the um, coordinates of their um, uh, their um, segments that were in front of them. So the snake will look like that and then it will look like that while moving down. If you move um, uh, right, this will move like this. And uh, so if it moves right, this will increase. And as you may guess, it will look like this. So uh, the first segment follows the head. The second segment follows the first segment. This third segment follows the second segment. The last segment follows the third segment and so on. Uh, until we have it. So we need to uh, have two arrays. The first array is going to be uh, the x coordinate of the um, of the tail, and the second array is going to be y coordinate of the tail, and they are going to go in pairs. So uh, the first we are going to create it. Uh, it's going to be int um, tail x. And for example, it will have a hundred maximum of hundred elements um, in this array, and tail y is going to also have hundred. Also, we need one int value that is going to be called n tail, and it will specify the length of the tail. So we know um, for how long so it should be run the for loop in order to print all the segments and of the tail and to check if there is a collision. So if um, so, we made this. Um, if we um, let's uh, start implementing the tail. And what should we do? So if we if we in the logic part, if we eat the fruit, we are going to increase the tail. We are going to increase the tail. So let's do this. Let's increase the with uh, the um, the tail of the snake by one. And uh, in the logic part, on the top of the logic part, we are going to um, remember the previous x coordinate of the tail of the segment first segment of the tail x and previous y coordinate of the tail first element of the tail. Also we are going to have uh, priv 2 x and priv 2 y and you're going to see in the moment why we need them. And this is how are we going to print the um, to move the tail. We're going to print it afterwards. So um, i is going to be equal to from 1 because we already have the first one. 
and it's going to go to the length of the tail. The for loop will go from one to, for example, if the tail is two, uh, for, uh, for if the tail is three, it will go one, two, and it will end. Um, now we're gonna remember in these values the current position of our segment so the first segment the second segment we're going to remember its position in these two values variables and now we're gonna change them to the prev x and to the prev y and now we're gonna update the prev x prev 2x and prev y to prev 2y and it's gonna be clear in a moment what this does um, when we run the program there's a tail but you don't see it currently because we don't draw it so we need to draw it we're gonna go up a little bit and here where we draw the fruit on the else, we're gonna open our curly brackets and we are going to uh, create a for loop for int k is going to zero and the k is going to be the length of the tail. K plus plus. So we are going to we are going through every element of our tail and going to draw it. So if tail x k is equal to our current um, uh, our current uh, x coordinate that we're printing uh, and the tail y is equal to our current y coordinate we are going to print our our tail and we're gonna print the space so when we run our program now it will work but it will have some very difficult consequences as you see it doesn't actually work as we want it to it prints our tail somewhere else and that's not good uh, we need to add um, a boolean variable that will uh, keep track whether we printed the um, I'm gonna call it print and it will be false whether we printed the head uh, the, the tail segment or we didn't print the tail segment and when we print it we say the print is equal to true and here if the print uh, if we didn't print the segment and this should go here if you didn't print the segment we are going to print uh, blank space so this um, should work now but actually we're gonna try it oh yeah as I thought uh, we don't print any blank spaces now and that can cause a problem in our program so uh, we can move but as you can see <laughs> you don't see the movement left right or anything else and that and hmm, uh, we should move this up because uh, we need the print in after every row and this should go out and now it should print good yeah it prints good but as you can see it still doesn't our tail doesn't follow us and probably the error is in the logic part now and that's because uh, we need to set the first tail x uh, sorry uh, 
tell x the first element to follow the head. So the tail y should follow the head. And now when we move our snake, as you can see, it follows. So we actually made a simple snake game in C++. And I guess it's not larger than 160 lines of code, but we're gonna check that in a moment. I'm just playing a little bit. It works, but we cannot kill ourselves. So as you can see, we can go through our tail. It only works on the wall. As you can see, there's a bug if you go in the direction that we aren't, aren't supposed to go. So I go down, <laughs> there's a bug while printing. And we should fix those things. The first thing that we're gonna do, let's see, it's 144 lines. Uh, we're gonna, um, we're going to check uh, for, uh, uh, we're going to check here in the logic part if we hit ourself or our tail with a head. Uh, it's similar to the wall. Mm, just we're going to loop through all tail segments and we're gonna check if tail x the current tail x segment is equal to x and the current tail y segment is equal to our head coordinates and if that is the case then we're gonna turn the game off. It will be a game over, I don't like this indentation. So let's run it. And we're gonna collect some, some fruits. As you can see, it works. How can we check if we can kill ourselves by going into the tail? Let's try it now. Oh, yeah. We, the game terminates when we hit our tail. So that's basically it. You made a simple snake game. You can polish it a little bit, add a slip function, for example, if you want to slow down the game a little bit. Uh, probably on some faster CPUs, it's gonna run faster. So in order to add the slip, you should, if you're on Windows, you should include windows.h. Uh, library. And this will work if you're in Linux, you should use the sleep command. As you can see, it will go a little bit slower, but it will flicker more. Uh, on some CPUs, on some computers, it will flicker more. It all depends on how fast your CPU is. So uh, that's it. Um, as you can see, the snake game is complete. It works. You can move around, you can kill yourself, you have a score. Uh, you can change the characters of the walls and of the snake head and tail and fruit if you don't like them. You can add some bonus bonus things. The code isn't big that at all. It's simple to understand. Maybe it's a little bit complicated in the printing section because we have three, four loops, one in another, and but if you have questions, you can post them in the comments. I will try to clarify it um, uh, the much as I can. And one fun thing that I I like in the snake games um, is that we can add in the logic part instead of hitting the wall and the game is over. Uh, we can check if, um, for example, if we went right, if we go right. The, the, the game doesn't, uh, the game won't terminate, but we go from the left side. You're gonna see, uh, it's a simple code snippet. It's not that hard. So if X is, is um, larger or equal to the width, then the X is gonna be zero. Else if, if, if the X is smaller than zero, X is gonna be equal to width minus one and this we're, we're gonna do this for the y coordinates and i'm gonna change it only height 
and we're going to comment this section. So we will not get the game over if we hit the wall. Rather than that, we are going to go through a wall and exit on the other side of the wall. It's cooler than the regular snake game. And it still follows, the tail still follows you. Um, and it looks very nice, as you can see. And then the only uh, the only thing that can kill you is your tail, but this gives more fun to the game. As you can exit from one side, you can go here, and then, I know, you can do almost anything. But please note that you are limited. Oh, we have a bug, as you can see. I didn't change this. <laughs> I changed only the the Y coordinate, I change only the X coordinate in both cases. So, quick bug fix, and now the game will be complete. Totally. As you can see, works perfectly. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.